Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. I am Amlan Das. Today I will discuss about elementary particles. Okay. Elementary particles are divided into two classes. First is fermions and second is bosons. Okay. Now fermions are odd half integral spin particles and antisymmetric wave function and bosons are integral spin particles and symmetric wave function okay now fermions are divided into two classes first is lepton and second is baryon okay so fermions are divided into two classes one is lepton and second is baryon okay now leptons are fermions which obey fermi dirac statistics okay leptons are light particles with masses less than that of the pion that is pi meson okay now there are three classes of lepton first is electron lepton that includes electron and positron that is e minus and e plus second is muon lepton that is mu minus and mu plus third is tau lepton that is tau minus and tau plus now each type of lepton is associated with a neutrino that is electron neutrino nu e muon neutrino nu mu and tau neutrino nu tau okay so these are the examples of lepton now a lepton number l equals to 1 is assigned to the lepton and l equals to minus 1 for the their anti particles that is anti lepton okay l equals to 1 for leptons and l equals to minus 1 for anti leptons okay so these are the leptons now second kind of fermion is baryon okay now baryons are spin half elementary particles which obey fermi dirac statistics okay now baryon group includes nucleon hyperon and their anti particles so baryons are divided into two classes okay first is nucleon and second is hyperon baryons are divided into two classes first is nucleon and second is hyperon now example of nucleons are neutron and proton and the examples of hyperons are first is lambda particle that is lambda zero sigma particle that is sigma plus sigma minus sigma zero cascade particle and omega particle okay so these are the examples of hyperon and this is the example of nucleon now a baryon number b equals to one is assigned to the baryons and b equals to minus one for anti baryons that is anti proton anti neutron etc and b equals to zero for all other particles okay so these are the examples of baryon now bosons are divided into three classes meson photon and graviton okay so bosons are divided into three classes first is meson second is photon and third is graviton okay so mesons are bosons which obey bose einstein statistics and the example of mesons are first is kaon that is k plus k minus and k0 d particle that is d plus d minus and d0 eta particle and pi particle okay 
so these are the examples of meson now the example of photon is gamma particle and they participate in electromagnetic interaction and the example of graviton is w plus particle okay example of graviton is w plus particle and they participate in gravitational interaction okay so these are the three types of bosons okay now here baryons and mesons are called hadron particles that is heavy particles so hadron hadron equals to mes baryon plus meson baryon plus meson okay hadron equals to baryon plus meson so uh, these are the baryons now we discuss about strange particles okay a quantum number is called strangeness s a quantum number strangeness s was introduced to explain the strange behavior of k meson and hyperons okay a quantum number called strangeness was introduced to explain the strange behavior of k meson and hyperons okay now experimentally it is found that k meson and hyperons that is lambda particle sigma particle cascade particle and omega particle they are produced in pair and this phenomenon is called associated production okay so they are produced by strong interaction in high energy nucleon nucleon collision but decay by weak interaction and have half life much greater than 10 to the power minus 23 second okay lifetime much greater than 10 to the power minus 23 second which shows that they do not decay by strong interaction okay and the strangeness quantum number s is conserved in strong and electromagnetic interaction okay so s is conserved in strong and electromagnetic interaction but violated in weak interaction okay and the strangeness quant so the strangeness quantum number s is k1 uh, plus hyperons now for lambda zero particle value of s is minus 1 okay and for sigma particle value of strangeness quantum number s is minus 1 for cascade particle value of s is minus 2 and for omega particle value of s is minus 3 okay so these are the strange particles okay thus we discuss elementary particles in particle physics thank you for watching this video